hi everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's staying safe and healthy so <laughs> before we start i just wanted to address that this clip right here yes looks very familiar to the previous video i did the intro to chani and lisa blackpink's video um if you haven't seen that you can see it in my channel um but yeah it's basically the same intro because um, those those two videos, this one and that one, was meant to be part of one video, um, but then I realized while editing how big the file was going to be and how long the video was going to be, so I decided to divide them into two parts. But anyway, so here I'm going to do a reading for Jay Young of NCT as well as Jungkook and Jimin's friendship as requested by you guys. Thank you so much for sending in your requests, and I also think that it's super fun because I get to... I don't know, discover new bands and stuff. I'm excited to listen to NCT after this. But anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do so you don't miss out on my future videos. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. Hi, everyone. Okay, so first things first. Um, Jayan is someone who is very, very smart, very inquisitive. He wants to know about everything. Um, he's very smart. He's very passionate. I do see that he has difficulty opening up with new people, not even new people. I see that he's just someone who's very comfortable being on his own. So he's not necessarily seeking out companionship. He's quite comfortable um, by himself. Um, also, he doesn't express who he truly is to everyone it's only once you get really close to him that he kind of like loosens up um but i also see that he is someone who is going to have a very successful career in their future we have the star in the world so he's destined for success and it's not just success in south korea i see him expanding i see him going like international global kind of success and fame um yeah he is very talented he is very smart so let's see what energies what's currently surrounding him what he's going through okay so we have a few cards here um not funny but like this is just interesting because this card seems to follow most of my readings about k-pop artists so it just seems like everyone's working so hard yeah Okay, um, we have a lot of eight energy here. I'm just gonna pick some more cards to get some more clarification. Card energy, what's going on? Oops. Oh. Okay, guys, so. Okay, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but it seems like right now he's going through a really difficult time. Um, we do have the Eight of Swords here and the Ten of Swords reversed. He is feeling, um, I mean, first of all, he's feeling really, really exhausted and tired. He's working really hard. He's carrying a lot on his shoulders. At the same time, it seems like he's been hurt. So there's been a situation that's trapped him and made him feel quite helpless and defenseless, which is not something that he usually feels. He likes to feel free. He doesn't like to feel pressured. And yet right now he feels like he's trapped in this situation. He also feels like things aren't going well for him. Um, the good thing that I see in this, you know, like dark situation he's in right now is that he's releasing like he's the ten of swords is reversed so this tells me that he he has been in a lot of pain following the situation but at the same time he's come to an understanding now he's ready to let go um i do see that because the justice is reversed that he shouldn't fight the situation right now um let's just pick some more cards to, to kind of just see what's going on, what this current situation entails. Okay. Okay, so he's going to have a breakthrough. This is something that he can overcome. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's a difficult period that he's in right now. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's something that feels very heavy and he's having a really hard time, but there's going to be a breakthrough 
breakthrough very very soon um he's gonna come up with an idea to get him out of the situation but he's also going to receive help and it almost feels like it's divine intervention like this this help is just gonna come out of thin air it's all of a sudden gonna change situation like that let's just get one more card or about the situation just to get clarity no oh okay oh <laughs> Yeah, so actually he is going to come out perfectly fine. He's going to, I mean, not that he's going to leave unscathed because this is a big situation that has affected him, but actually he's going to make lemonade out of lemons <laughs> because out of this, he's got the king of pentacles and the page of pentacles. So this is actually going to make him stronger, make him more stable, make him wiser too. And there's even going to be a project that comes out of this. So this is good, good omen. So let's see what else is um, so we've got the three of wands, a lot of wand energy, a lot of wand energy in his reading. He's someone who's very, very passionate and someone who's very like work oriented. Yay. Okay. To all JN lovers, <laughs> I just get really excited when like the energy turns from like really heavy to light because I see that, um, things are looking up after this whole situation things are about to look up there's he's going to be expanding his his vision somewhere else he's going to be thinking about doing something outside of what he's doing right now um as well you know like balancing the two but it's going to take him um outside of south korea actually it's going to be um he's going to be doing a lot of more projects outside of the country and he's going to feel like the forge lady luck is on his side we have the wheel of fortune here so he feels like he's at rock bottom right now because the ten of swords signifies you can't get any lower than that current situation with with which comes with pros and minuses the pro is that it can't get any worse it it feels horrible but it can't get any worse and it's completely correct because now we have the wheel of fortune he's about to go back up and he's got a lot of blessings and fortunes coming his way so let's see yeah <laughs> he is someone who is very very dependable by the way whoever ends up with him is a lucky person because he is someone who is very dependable he keeps his words um he doesn't give his heart very easily let's just see more about relationship what's going on Okay, so, hmm. <laughs> it's so funny, I was just saying he is someone who's um, very dependable and very stable, but he's also someone who, who is actually quite traditional, he likes stability, he doesn't like to rock the boat, he is actually just traditional, conventional, yeah relationship wise if he falls in love with someone he's ready to like settle down and get married he's he just he doesn't like to like mess around or uh play around with people's feelings he's just hmm. i'm gonna take one more card okay so here's the issue with jayan in his love life um he doesn't necessarily see things clearly so let's say there's someone who's really good for him who is there and who's you know interested in him but he won't necessarily <laughs> kind of see them he'll focus on all the other people that maybe are not necess necessarily good for him and he'll miss out on that one good person that has been waiting on the sidelines um also, when he feels like he is down, he can get in the habit of feeling sorry for himself for a certain amount of time. But I do think I do see that things are changing because we have the Empress here. So in terms of relationship, he's single right now. He's not with anyone. Um, he's got I mean, he does, you know, he's he's he has kind of like friendships here and there, etc. But there is someone who is really good for him. Um, that he hasn't noticed yet but there's someone who's very nurturing someone who's very kind someone who's very loving so all the good things that you'd want in a partner um let's just pick up 
few more cards. But I do see that um, next year he is going to see this. He's going to be um, realize this more. Sorry, I'm gonna move the card here. I didn't realize that you couldn't see it. Um, yeah, and they're gonna be best friends. They're gonna be like best friends. They're it's it's gonna be a relationship that is very compatible. Um, like I said, he's not got their eyes or <laughs> aware of them yet, but he is going to next year yeah so we have the hangman so he's gonna see things from a different perspective next year he's he's going to notice this person he's going to realize how good they are but for the time being he's you know he's single but also it's very interesting to see because he's someone who's very traditional like i said and he is ready so i feel like if he does fall in love with this person which i'm seeing that he will next year something is going to start we have the fool here which is starting a new journey i feel like it won't be long until he's kind of like let's settle down i'm ready to be a father because he's someone who's very very traditional yeah he's someone who's very very traditional and he doesn't like waiting long like he's he's very sharp he's very smart he's someone who's a little bit impatient when it comes to the goals and ideas that he has so he doesn't like waiting if he has an idea for a project um he wants to do it like right then and there if he ends up falling for someone he's someone who's like okay you know what let's settle down let's do it he just doesn't like wasting time and i'm getting the sense that the situation that he was in or he is in right now um that ended up hurting him also kind of resulted from um you know that kind of just tendency to push and not want to wait around i don't know i'm getting the sense that that ruffled some feathers um but let's see one final card oh that was yay so everything's gonna be great next year we have the king of wands here he's gonna have a lot of projects a lot of passion um a lot of success and blessings people are really gonna like him this is what's called um this is what's called character development because we started off with the page of swords and we ended up with the king of wands so right now he can be really reckless sometimes and just do things um on impulse but by the end of it by this time next year he's going to be someone who's not just um wiser but someone who is calmer someone who is more um in control of their urges of the, when i say urge it sounds wrong sorry let me rephrase that someone who's more in control of their emotions so he's not just going ah, up and down up and down up and down he's a lot wiser he's very charming and people a lot of people are gonna like him because right now i feel like the the issue is that sometimes he has a really hard time ho opening up to new people and at times people can see him as cold or just detached when really he is such a kind person but he's just he doesn't know how to show that um but by this time next year he's going to be a completely different person but yeah let me just grab some oracles just to finish off this reading oh my god it's 12 minutes i have four more reading three more readings to do. oh okay let's see yeah so he's going to be like i said he's going to be someone who is a lot wiser a lot uh, more charming a lot uh more at ease with showing who he truly is on the inside because he's an amazing person he just needs to show it um but also he's not just going to use his head because sometimes he's very logical he just thinks okay what what is the you know what is the expected thing to do but next year he's actually going to combine his heart and his head a little bit more be more clever in strategizing the next move and things like that. I honestly think that this situation right here, um, which caused him a lot of heartache, um, that's that's really going to change his, his future course. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much, you guys. Sometimes things happen in the course of our lives to push us in the right direction and towards our destiny. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. 
Hi guys, so I'm going to be doing a reading on Jimin and Jungkook's friendship. I thought I would start with an oracle today because I've already done a standalone reading on Jimin and I've also done one for Jungkook a few weeks ago. So I have their energy, like as in I'm already kind of familiar with their energy um, and I thought it would just be good to do an oracle reading. So let's see what's currently going on. Okay, so we have the Envy card. Let's pull a few more. Okay, so I'm gonna be frank with you guys. The relationship is a complicated relationship. There is so much love. There is so much love between them. Actually, they each think so highly about the other person. They always carry the other person with them, as seen here from the Angel of Love. But at the same time, like I said, it's a complicated relationship. Um, they can be envious of one another. They can sometimes be upset with one another. And it's also because they see how the other person is so talented. Sometimes there's just this, I don't know, you know, I mean, it's it's inevitable sometimes in like close relationships there's that kind of like oh that person is so good why can't i you know um be a, uh, why can't i do the same things they do or whatever um so there it is a very you know like i said um complicated relationship but there is so much love there and the good thing is they are aware of this that you know that relationship isn't always healthy so there's a lot of healing that's taking place right now from both of them, which is amazing. So let's just take one more Oracle card to see what is waiting. So, <laughs> so guys, it's, it's like I said, it is, you know, it is complicated relationship and everything, but it is on the mend. We have the healer of the ages and we have the sun. The sun is such an amazing card when it comes to relationships and outcomes of things because it just denotes positivity, love, a lot of inspiration. So I am, um, I am getting the sense that the two of them will kind of find solace in one another and kind of have really deep conversations about music, about art, about books um i see a lot of positivity and a lot of love shared between them so it's going to be good but let's just see what else is coming by tarot oh one card straight away jumped we have the ten of cups another amazing card by the way you guys <laughs> the ten of cups is uh, the ten of cups is about family so i i think their friendship has gone beyond friendship their friendship is obviously very very close-knit which is why sometimes you know when you're very close to someone you are likely to bicker um, because you know they're not going anywhere you are you're not gonna fight with someone who you're not close to you're gonna fight with someone who you trust um, because you know they're not going anywhere because you love each other so much oops okay let's see the four of swords and the eight of pentacles okay so uh, this is really good because the thing is they ha they know how their relationship has been kind of like up and down so they have taken some time to kind of um, be on their own and think back as to what they did in the past that didn't work and they're now better than ever or they're about to enter a phase that's better than ever because we have the ten of cups and the ten of cups is just harmony and love and the good thing is that we have the eight of pentacles too so they're working really hard and making sure this friendship stays this way and gets better and better with time they're both putting the same amount of work into their relationship so let's just pick some more cards. Okay. <laughs> so we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. They're both working so hard. They're both putting the same amount of work into each other. But we also have the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is collaborating. Like I said before, when I told you that they're going to be sharing ideas um, about music, inspirations, books, art, whatever. It's the same thing with the Three of Pentacles. It's just reiterating that. They're going to enter a phase where they're going to get inspired by one another and they're going to be working so hard together. I also see some collaborating. So the two of them might be doing something together in the future, um, which is really, really good. Yeah. So it's almost like um, they're both, they're both stubborn people. Um, and 
they can be quite different personality wise um but they're willing now to understand that actually when we come together there's balance and there's strength they're putting their energy um towards loving each other more now because there is so much love they share together we can see that from the sun and from the angel of love there is so much love between the two of them and it's so good that as you can see here from the healer of the ages the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles they are willing to put in the work for one another because they love each other so much so okay we do have the devil here let me just pick one more card Yeah, so because <laughs> they're both really passionate people and I see that one of them actually has kind of like an obsessive personality and when I say obsessive is that they can, they tend to hold on to their ideas so very strongly. It's very hard to let go. Um, they're just a little bit, you know, like, how else do I put it? Like, it's just sometimes there's a lot of stubbornness in one of them. Um, and it's difficult for them to let go of an idea, but there is so much hope, there is so much love, there's just happiness shared between them. I'm gonna make sure this video doesn't end up being too long, you guys, by the way, because <laughs> all my videos have ended up being like really, really long. But anyway, um, um, another amazing thing that is great between the two of them is that they understand each other so well that when this one person gets really pulled into their darkness or gets pulled into this obsessive personality um addictive personality and when i say obsessive or addictive it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a bad thing it's just that sometimes it's difficult for them to get out of their heads the other person is able to pull them out um it's a balance it's like a yin yang balance there's they have so many differences between them but also so much love shared um so it's such an amazing kind of relationship but let's just pick a few more maybe one or two oracle cards just to finish off this reading oh. <laughs> when this happened usually the cards are saying enough but let's just see come on card Okay, I did mention earlier that they are going to be collaborating on something, right? And it really seems like they are going to because we also have the rhythm here. Tune into the natural rhythm of life, but it's all about music and love, etc. Things like that. So I do see that they are going to collaborate on something. But also what I see um, is that, you know how I told you that with the devil, this you know, one of them sometimes gets into like this stubborn state of mind. It's difficult for them to let go or they just get kind of like pulled into this kind of darkness, etc. They're just being stubborn. But, you know, with the help of the star, they get pulled out of it. And also, I feel like in this next phase of their friendship, um, they are going to bring so much positivity into the other person's life and they're going to be able to enjoy life a little bit more. They're going to be able to let go of their need to control every single aspect of their life um, and they're going to enjoy it more. Just one more card to see. Something else. No, so it seems like there's no more messages regarding this. Let's pick another oracle. Yeah, guys, so it seems like there's no more messages regarding this. But like I said, you know, their relationship had been up and down in the past. But there's a lot of healing that's happening right now. There's a lot of positivity. There's a lot of love. We have the sun here, which is such a great omen. I feel like they're going to be closer than ever. Um, we have the ten of pentacles. We have the eight of pentacles. And we have the three of pentacles. They're working so hard. They both know just how important they are to one another. They're working so hard to make sure that their relationship is the strongest it's ever been. And, you know, they balance each other out. We have the Two of Swords and we have the Devil and the Star. So it's almost like 
when, and I'm not just talking about one person in particular, because when the other person gets dark and gets, you know, down and sad too, the other person is able to pull them out. So this is a friendship that will stand the test of time. This is a friendship that is going to last a lifetime and they're gonna, you know, come out better than ever. So yeah, guys, it's already 10 minutes. I swear, I told myself, okay, you're gonna make quick videos this today because you're doing four readings and it's not gonna be two hours, but of course I don't. They all end up being like so long. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. Bye.